Justin Bieber is one of the world's biggest stars. He sells out arenas, closes down streets, and makes headlines everywhere he goes. He's a big star with an even bigger heart. It's no coincidence that his latest album was titled Believe. But in July 2011, Justin's efforts to spread hope and heart turned personal when he learned about the Barry family, whose lives were torn apart by a tragic car accident. Josh and Robin Berry, both in their early 40s, were marathon runners with beaming bills of good health. But more than anything, they cherished their three children, Peter 9, Aaron 8, and Willis 6. The Berries were driving home to Texas after a vacation in Colorado when their vehicle was struck head on. Josh and Robin were both killed, but all three kids survived. The boys, Aaron and Peter, were left paralyzed from the waist down. They were in the midst of a much anticipated road trip when it came to a tragic end Saturday night. Robin Berry was driving in West Texas when investigators say a car veered into her lane causing a head on collision. She died instantly. Her husband, Joshua, died at the hospital. Josh's brother Matt and his wife Simon became the kids' legal guardians. Matt and Simon, along with their two kids Misha and Noah, are proof that love and support know no limits. Still, the medical costs of rehabilitation, therapy, and school are explosive and have become a constant stress for the couple. This is where Justin Bieber stepped in. Hey Peter, Aaron, and Willa, it's Justin here. I just wanted to let you know my prayers go out to you guys and the whole world is thinking about you. And we are all trying to help as much as we can. We love you and stay strong. Experts say it's going to eventually cost millions. So Justin Bieber is encouraging folks to donate to the family today. Show Your Hearts is trending big today on Twitter from all over the world. As far away as China, people are getting involved, they're donating, they're helping out the Barry family. I found out about these kids uh, roughly about a year ago. Um, I found out they got in a car accident, they lost their parents. I thought this was a crazy a crazy story and I wanted people to, you know, I wanted to raise awareness about it. So I put a picture of me holding my heart up like this and we got a bunch of other celebrities to put their heart up as well. And um, before we knew it, you know, all of the world knew about this. On October 30th, 2012, just over a year after the accident, the Belief Tour made its way to Houston, Texas. The concert happened to fall on Peter's 11th birthday, and Justin invited the Barry family to come meet him and see the show. Young Hollywood was there to capture the special moment. Hey, what's up? You guys didn't know I was up there, did you? What's going on, man? How you doing? Good. Good to see you. How you doing? Good. Good? Hi, give me a hug. How are you? Good. Good. Are you excited for the show? Yeah. Yeah? I think the word believe is so inspirational, you know? Believe in, in hope and in their dreams and although, you know, bad things have happened, you know, there's still hope for the future. Alright, your ball. That's right, Justin. Thank you, bro. Do you play pool? No. Why not? I'm bad. You're bad? Well, come on, you, want, you can be on my team. Cause everything starts from something, but something would be nothing. It's your birthday? Nothing if your heart didn't dream with me. Where would I be? <laughs> if it didn't I can't believe he did that. Peter, Aaron, and Willa learned at a young age that life can change in an instant. Do you guys have any specific moment or memory where everything that has happened has just hit you? Sometimes all of a sudden you're thinking about something and then all of a sudden you're thinking about your mom and dad like a second later and you're like, 
Oh, I wish I could just say one word to them. What do you guys think that one word would be? Love you, I wish you were here. It was really depressing and, and annoying because once you lose somebody, like if you're not with them, you don't get to say something right before. And um, once they go, you'll never get them back. Sometimes I go to school and then services, some of the kids' moms come and, I'll, and they're like sitting with them and I'll get them like, oh, I wish I could do that with my mom, but they're not here anymore, so I can't do that. But what the Barry kids can do is pick up the phone and text Houston Texans defensive end JJ Watt. I went and visited them at the hospital and, and we built up a relationship. They took down my cell phone number so they started texting me and calling me and, and now we're good buddies and they're great kids. They're unbelievable and they're kind of an inspiration to me. The thing is they're so busy they're hard to get a hold of. I mean they're doing basketball, they're in school, they're doing all these activities so it's actually harder for me to get a hold of them than it is for them to get a hold of me. But. We're doing great and I'm excited. Uh, I'm going to go see one of their basketball games soon, so I'm really excited oh, yeah. about that. That would be fun. Yeah, I want to teach kids that you can do anything you want in this world, as long as they're willing to have big dreams and work hard to get there. Uh, dreaming big is only half of it. You have to be willing to put in the time and the effort, and that's really the message I want to get across. If you didn't believe. Justin not only treated the Barry kids to front row seats at his show, he also gave them something money can't buy. Hope? and a reason to smile. Oh, oh. Everything's gonna be alright. PETA, Aaron, and Willa are a true testament to the word believe. And with so much love surrounding them, their belief in themselves grows stronger every day. The sorrow and the fight, don't you worry. Everything's gonna be alright. Cause everything starts from something, but something would be nothing, nothing if your heart didn't dream with me. Where would I be? Mm -hmm. If you didn't believe.